Hello, Lila here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an American girl who's living in Germany, and in this video, I'm gonna point out a few differences I've noticed between German boyfriends I've had and the American boyfriends I've had, and I also had just a couple. So this is just my personal opinion and my perception, and it may be different than yours. And also, I'm really annoyed with stereotypes lately, so I'm gonna try my best not to generalize and stuff, and I hope you guys in the comments when you're watching this video you aren't getting angry by everything I'm saying like it seems like in my last recent videos everyone's getting angry at what I'm saying I'm just pointing out differences thank you guys so much on patreon I have to remind myself about the people who are leaving all the positive comments so thank you so much I would not continue making YouTube videos if it weren't for my patreon page so thank you so much and if you want to join my patreon page and if you like these videos and if you want me to keep making videos then I'll link my patreon page down below and yeah Thanks so much. Okay, so the difference is, I wrote down the physical. So you got the physical appearance of German men, German women. Wait, not German women. I'm personally, I'm straight, so I never went on dates with German women, so sorry, I can't compare that. But I can compare the German men and the American women expectations and dating and stuff, so. Yeah, so the body hair, I've noticed was a difference. German men like to shave their armpits, at least millennial age. I get a lot of my comments on the last videos where I talked about this. A lot of Germans were saying, what? I didn't know this. So this is millennial, I'm in my late 20s, and um, yeah, so if you're in your late 20s and you haven't heard that German guys around your age, late 20s, are shaving armpits, then I'm pretty surprised. At least at the university, um, I've noticed every time a German guy in my age put his arms up, he didn't have any hair, so. <laughs> but that's the millennial difference, I guess. So then, yeah, so the American men don't shave armpits and the girls don't care. We just think it's like, oh, it's a manly thing and yeah. So I was kind of surprised when I learned the German men shave their armpits and I got I gotten used to it. At first I thought it was kind of strange just because I wasn't used to seeing that on a man. And um, but then now it's oh it's so nice. Like when you're cuddling, I see what the German girls girlfriends of mine mean when they said they kinda like it, because yeah, I don't know. You can stick your face kind of in there when you're cuddling. Well, okay, not like that, but you know what I mean. I hope. Okay, next. <laughs> So then we've got the hairstyle. German men, I've noticed, have very similar hairstyles, at least the ones that I find attractive compared to where I'm from. I'm from uh, pretty much Los Angeles, California. People, the guys there have really long, shaggy, surf-type hair. And I liked the German short around the sides, longer a bit on the top. I like that style. So that's a difference. And then the style, the clothing. Um, German Germans, I've noticed, wear shorter shorts than Americans. Americans will always wear their shorts below the knee, and German men, I've noticed, when they wear shorts, they have no problem when the shorts are above the knee. But then again, I'm in my late 20s, and I don't really know what's trendy. Um, I just joined TikTok, and I have almost 2,000 followers on TikTok. I'll put a link down below if you want to join my TikTok, by the way. Um, and then the one that's like kind of strange to talk about, the German men don't get circumcised as babies, which is so nice because I am absolutely against that. So I'm really happy that that is how it is in Germany. And I hope, and I've heard the US is going towards that. The courting differences. So I know, because I studied psychology, that people usually meet their significant others, the people they date, based on mutual friends. And it's the same in the US too. Most of the people I know, they met their boyfriend or girlfriend through friends, friends of friends. But the dating apps are getting really popular. So, um, so those are a, a similarity. We're both using the dating apps in both countries. But what I've noticed is different is approaching strangers because there is some people who've met their significant other because they sat next to them at a sports game or um or they were in the grocery store or they were at a bar lots of people meet in bars in the u.s um i never met anyone i liked at a bar but that's just my own opinion i do know some people who have met in bars um but yeah in germany i went out a lot because i was a student and while i studied in oldenburg germany and never i was never approached never and I was so shocked, so shocked, because I'll always typically get approached in the US. I won't usually be interested, but at least I know I'm gonna get at least one time approached. Um, yeah. So that's just a difference I noticed. And it's kind of sad if you're wanting to meet people because me and my friends who were single in Oldenburg, we were really wanting to meet someone, a boyfriend. We, we were hoping to find a boyfriend, yeah. We were open to it and it just wasn't happening. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind if you're coming to Germany, but 
Thankfully, there's dating apps. That's where I met my boyfriend on the Bumble app. I recommend the Bumble app. I've noticed the quality of guys on the Bumble app are a little bit higher and they're looking for something a little bit more serious than the Tinder I've noticed. Though I do know some German girls who met their boyfriends on Tinder, but it's going to be much harder than it is on Bumble, just my opinion. And then, so the American boyfriends, they're not going to tell you things that German boyfriends will tell you, at least in my experience. <laughs> I've had, like I never had an American boyfriend tell me something about my body or about my body hair or something like that. I've had uh, two of the German boyfriends I've had. <laughs> two of the guys, one pointed out that, oh, you have like hair on your hands and on your feet and there's a lot of it. <laughs> and I was like, did you really just tell me that? Like, who cares? I don't know. I am i don't notice body hair, especially because mine's blonde, but that's something I've noticed, I think, because Germans are into shaving. And the German girls I've noticed, um, let me know if it's different for you down below, but uh, shaving the arms, I think, is more popular in Germany than I think it is in the US. American girls do not care about arm hair, but definitely that's something I've noticed, I think. Arm hair is a thing in Germany. I don't care though, and luckily my German boyfriend, he, my current one who, um, yeah, he doesn't, he's never said anything about that, but the last ones I had, yeah, they, they did. That was very strange, awkward. Um, yeah, <laughs> and as an American, you're just used to, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And last time I s said that in my Instagram story, um, a lot of Germans were writing me messages and they said they don't know a translation for that in German. There's no equivalent to if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. So this is a phrase and Americans I think really follow that and and I get it. Like I get the comment all the time from Germans and Germans like to put down Americans and I'm really sick of it. Like um, at least in the comment section, like luckily in person before I was on YouTube and before the internet, I had really nice exchanges with Germans on the internet. It's pretty brutal. So, but yeah, a, lot, a big popular comment Germans like to say is Americans are too polite to be honest or something and Germans are too honest to be polite or something like that. Um, so it's one is not better than the other. It's just a cultural difference. So the Germans think it's polite to be honest. Americans think it's polite to just don't say something that doesn't need to be said and especially if it's something like body hair like just don't say that why say that i don't get it some some things in german culture i'm like i don't get it i think it's great you know the honesty and germans want and that's what's kind of stressful about making youtube videos honestly because germans i know want me to say positive things positive things and the moment i say anything negative about germany or german culture like I get attacked in the comments and all the other Americans on YouTube get attacked too. I don't know if anyone's made a comment about this, but, and I mean, not by of course my supporters. I think it's just the people who are looking, the anti-American people who are going on all our channels and just leaving hate. So sorry if I'm a little burnt out lately. Um, I really want to make this video though. So I'm trying my best, which I think it, it's an English thing too though. So I think Germans, they're already direct as a culture, but then when they speak a second language, English, their second language, I think it comes out even more direct because they don't know the little nuances of speaking English. And like in English, we like to use all these little filler words to make it sound really nice. We like to, language is really important in English, American English for us to make it sound nice. If we're saying something that's not so nice or we wanna, that we have ways around it. So I think having English as a second language, that's where there's gonna be some miscommunication sometimes if you're dating someone from a different culture, so you just have to learn about it and know about it, and yeah, I mean, it's not good or bad. Then there is when you are going on dates. In the US, at least my high school boyfriend never let me pay for a date. Even though we were both high school students, every time we went on a date, he never let me pay. So maybe his mom was teaching him this, or I wasn't sure. But in Germany, it's quite fair, and the Germans, if they know that you're both students, they just think it makes sense to split the bill. But in the US, even when I was asked out on a date from a fellow student, they wouldn't let me pay. So, and by the way, it's not the US. I should stop saying that. It's Los Angeles. That's how it is in Los Angeles. Um, California, it's not like that I noticed in Portland, because I did a little 
I have a video that I'll upload in the future where I ask strangers on the street in Portland about these kind of questions and they surprised me and they said that they, a lot of them said they split the bill. They don't pay for the girl. Only one of the guys said he would always pay for the girl. He was more working class and the other people I was asking were at the university. So I think it's old school versus modern university. I don't know. I'm so bad at words sometimes. The talk. So in German, I know there is a such thing as having the talk, but it's different. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get so much hate for this video, but um, in the US, it's in California, it's expected to have a talk to see like, are we boyfriend, girlfriend? What is this? Um, and yeah, because it's kind of common that people will can, we'll see other people while dating because you never know if someone is still seeing other people so usually that's just what they do and then when you find someone you really want to be with then you have the talk with them and then you're together that's how it goes in germany i've noticed you're expected to just date one person and not date multiple people yeah so there can be some miscommunications if you are dating multiple people at the same time and that and by the way that just means going on dates hanging out okay please don't <laughs> go on a American hate fest in the comments, please. <laughs> so, so the talk is important in the US to find out if you guys are exclusive, if you're together, if you're a couple. In Germany, not so much. So when I first met my boyfriend, I told him about this, how that's important to have this talk. He asked me if I would be his girlfriend and I was really happy about that. <laughs> Cause the other Germans I met didn't do that. So yeah, I think like in France, I've heard is that in France you don't have this talk either, you're just together until the one day that you're no longer together and that's the difference. <laughs> um, in Germany, everyone's using WhatsApp and voice messages are really popular. In the US, we don't have WhatsApp because it's, we, a lot of us, most of us have unlimited texting, unlimited data, unlimited everything, and it's pretty affordable, which Germany doesn't have such a thing, I heard, so. So Germans are sending voice messages, I've, I've noticed, so that was kind of new for me to get used to, is sending voice messages on WhatsApp, and yeah, but I got used to it, but then I, I had to be honest with my boyfriend and say, I don't like voice messages, I find them kind of strange. Like, I would rather just talk on the phone. Just like, let's not send voice messages and let's just talk on the phone. That's what I preferred, so. And he was totally fine with that to do my kind of American style on that one. At least that's what we did when we were doing long distance. Now we don't, of course, <laughs> we just talk in person, so. <laughs> um, Cause we're living together, so. Also the living together thing is the same in both countries. From my understanding is that you don't move in until it's been a couple years and that's the same in the US. The difference is gonna be, um, well, before I say it, talk about the marriage thing, um, the pet names. So in Germany, I've noticed Schatz is a popular one. And then there's also Zusa, in Zusa. So that's Swedish in German. And, um, but it's kind of an old, older style I heard. Um, yeah, in the US, a lot of people are saying babe, and I never liked babe, honestly, so I was really happy that I didn't have someone who's calling me babe. Um, then the marriage. So marriage expectation. Um, I My boyfriend's parents told me a story about how if you aren't married before you're 30, there's this kind of tradition that you have to go clean up, to go clean up at the courthouse. Uh, like sweep outside the courthouse or something and I'm probably saying part of that story wrong so correct me down below so you have to kind of embarrass yourself if you're not married by 30 but that is my boyfriend's parents generation and um, he says that yes still in the late 20s there's this joke still about this joke if your friends turning 30 you can say this joke to them like oh you're gonna you're not married yet you're gonna have to do this so I think getting married at 30 is similar but I noticed in the US, the five year thing is common. If you're together for five years, you're expecting your significant other to probably ask you to marry them because five years is, is kind of the time I think Americans give to decide if you wanna to stay together for the long term or not. And because I think Americans want to be married, I think most, and that's the difference between Germany. From my understanding is that marriage is not so popular anymore. So 
a lot of Mar uh, a lot of Germans are of course getting married and it's proof in all before the pandemic and all the um, bachelor and bachelorette parties. So um, Junggesellschaft, I think is what the name is maybe. Um, yeah, so a lot of Germans are getting married, but a lot aren't. And the difference too is how I said how the US has the five year. Germans have like 10 year is like my understanding. It takes much longer than the average time in the US for Germans to want to marry. I think it's because they don't really like, they're doing it for taxes and, and stuff and not so much. I think a, a lot of Americans are still religious and maybe that's why there's more, but um, I'm personally, I'm not religious, but I still have the, the idea or the belief about the five year thing. So um, that's everything on my list. If I'm forgetting something that I should talk about in a future video or something I'm forgetting, I don't know, let me know down below in the comments and I hope you found this video interesting. And sorry, I'm not editing this video. I think I'm just gonna upload it like an old style. And sorry if I seem sleepy, I couldn't sleep because I had coffee last night and yeah, but I still really wanted to upload because my friend's coming over this weekend and I'm not gonna have time and I really want to get this uploaded, so okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye.